This segment brought to you by Kansas Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture. To join today or more information, go to kfb.org or find us on Facebook and Twitter. Here we go, or again, go again, whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> going, going, gone. <laughs> yeah. So when you're gone, how would you like to be remembered, Frank? Well, what, there you go. What would you See, like? <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't even meant to be a segue into what, what she's going to talk We're about so good. next. We're so good. I know. This is a, this will, of course, you've been around as long as we have. You know. So the epitaphs, of course, this is October, so um, people's minds turn to tombstones, of course. So the, they always fascinate me, you know, from time I was a kid. I loved visiting cemeteries. And so how people choose to be remembered or how their family chooses to remember them, you know, those final words, um, that's, that's pretty important. So what are you, you going to put on? What are you going to put on yours, Frank? I had no idea. I was here and now I'm gone. I don't I think know. about it a lot. And my <laughs> friends in Philly, you know, they are on the board of the cemetery there at Laurel Hill and and uh, and Carol's always joking that Andy's going to put his resume on the <laughs> side. You know all the wonderful things he's done, and all about how he portrayed General Meade, and all that'll be. And she said it'll take you know ten thousand dollars to carve all that into the side. So it's it's very interesting. Of course, one of my uh, favorites is from out at Dodge City. Here lies Lester Moore, four slugs from a 44, no less, no more. You know, that's one of my favorite ones. So I don't know if anything in my life will inspire anything that clever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, people don't do that anymore. It used to be. Yes. Like you say, it's fun to go back into the old part of cemeteries and see what's there. See what they say. So, And uh, it certainly won't take much to put on my resume. <laughs> <laughs> so that won't take, what, 10 letters or something. But let's take a look at how some famous people chose to be remembered. It's October, and our thoughts turn to pumpkins, falling leaves, and gravestones. Yes, whether made of marble or iron, they are often artistic and beautiful. The words carved there, essentially our very last words, are pretty important. Let's see what a few folks left for us to ponder. The body of Benjamin Franklin, printer, like the cover of an old book, its contents worn out and stripped of its lettering and gilding, lies here, food for worms. Yet the work itself shall not lost, for it will, as he believed, appear once more in a new and more beautiful edition, corrected and amended by its author. The epitaph for Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, creator of Sherlock Holmes, simply reads, Steel true, blade straight. Dean Martin, that funny man with a voice like silk, crooned one last time. Everybody loves somebody sometime. Another sweet sentiment is expressed on the stone of Bonnie Parker, of Bonnie and Clyde fame. As the flowers are all made sweeter by the sunshine and the dew, so this old world is made brighter, by the lives of folks like you. And while we're on Outlaws, Jesse James lies just over the line in Missouri, and his untimely death is recounted on his marker, which says, Murdered by a traitor and a coward whose name is not worthy to appear here. Of course, if we listened to the song or watched Brad Pitt's The Assassination of Jesse James, we know that the dirty little coward who shot Mr. Howard was Bob Ford. Some of the markers bear warnings, like this one, belonging to a dentist. Stranger, approach the spot with gravity. John Brown is filling his last cavity. So, dear viewer, now that you are inspired, go forth in the brisk October air to the graveyard and read the last words of those gone before. Just make sure you're home before dark. Time to go. I'm Frank. I'm Deb. And we'll see you somewhere around, around Kansas. Kansas. Closed captioning brought to you by Ag Promo Source. Together we grow. Learn more at agpromosource.com.